So it's October 14th, 2020, and we're here in my uh, garden again. It's uh, 15 degrees Celsius right now. And so that's basically the temperature these days. And it's about anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees Celsius at night. And as you can see, we are totally in fall or autumn mode. If you uh, take a look at my biggest Polonia tomentosa, Kiri tree, the leaves are all droopy and it's it's been like that. I guess it's uh, stopped growing for now. And um, some of the leaves, including the petioles of the leaves, stems are falling off. We have the, beside the Kiri tree is the Tree of Heaven. Again, this one grew a meter and a half tall in the space of just this uh, growing season. And it's not changing color yet, but uh, it's not growing any taller. On the right side, we'll see that the golden rod is already going to seed because they're, uh, as you can see, they're the golden rod. They're going to seed, they're turning fluffy. Um, in the middle there, that's uh, ash. It's red, losing its color. And all along there, just various ash and pawpaw in pots and ash on the left there changing color there's a virginia creeper all up on the wall there changing color first ones to change color actually um, there's a kiri tree at the bottom there and uh, something interesting is that i just noticed I guess it was in September, all these little Tree of Heaven seedlings all over the place. So I've heard that Tree of Heaven seeds may lay dormant for one or two years before they actually germinate. So perhaps that's uh, what happened. If you look at um, the fence here, the Virginia Creeper was one of the first plants to change color from green to orange or red and it looks like this Virginia creeper has already lost all its leaves but what's left are these uh, poisonous purple berries which uh, if you have kids you gotta be careful but um, the birds eat that over the winter time and the plant with the green leaves that's a uh, black raspberry it, uh, it's still green, um, but the stem is red, meaning that next year it'll produce uh, black raspberry. If you look down here, there's a yellow pawpaw right in the middle, so the pawpaw are changing color. And we have ash changing color and Papa changing color and there actually is a black raspberry over here changing color and black raspberry over here changing color and this catalpa also starting to change color and the ash behind it has changed into nice fall colors already and the larger black walnut tree behind it the one that's about 80 years old it's dropped a ton of its leaves all over the place good fertilizer um, and it's it's turning yellow but some leaves are still green but there's there's a ton of walnuts all over the place so black walnut, a strange tasting walnut, but uh, something to eat if you want. 
very nice wood, va valuable as well, but you may not be able to see it, but there are a bunch of walnuts still left on the tree itself. And yep, yeah, so you can see there a little bit, but a ton of them fall into the yard every year. And we have some, I forget what this is, this vine is called Japanese wisteria or something, Japanese something or other. Nice starting to turn a fall red at the bottom, but still green up there. And the bare tree here, that's a um, that's a box elder maple, Manitoba maple. I believe it lost its leaves early because of the less sunlight it gets because it's right up against the shed here. Um, if we look over here though, on the ground, there's a lot of pawpaw that are still green because they still get a lot of sunlight. And uh, let's just look in. Let's look in the back. If we, take a, if we take a look at all these leaves on the ground, those are all leaves that drop down from uh, the black walnut. And look at this massive load of black walnut all over the floor. Now, I did gather, gather them up from two different trees in one spot, but that's a load, right? And um, I don't know, that's just a load of black walnuts. And if we look at my uh, compost pile here, you'll see that the bright yellow ash, the the ash is bright yellow, it's uh, changed color. The Robinia pseudo acacia is still green. The mulberry is changing color somewhat. You can see it's yellow and green though. And then if we look at the, my second largest, or my bonsai polonia tomatosa, it's orange. And uh, that's pretty much it. So it's cold. Uh, and I brought my indoor plants inside already. So I uh, hope you're all doing well. And um, hope that we all have a good uh, winter in a wait for next season, next growing season.